Hey guys, Joel here and welcome back to another episode. So today I want to do a quick review and also I'm going to show some gameplay at the end for this game. Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> Security Breach. I don't have it physically, sadly, you know, to show you guys or whatever because they gave it away in the PlayStation Plus, um, what was it, last month? Back yeah, was it last month? No, yeah, it was, yeah, it was last, yeah, last month that they gave it away. I think it was a month before, but I believe it was last month. They gave it away and everything like that. And I finally got around to playing it and everything. Because um, the reason why is because with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which I haven't spoke about recently, like how the game um, what's it has improved. Like they really did a lot. Kind of did a rant on it, and they have actually have improved. They um, you know, the lobbies wasn't it doesn't take as long as it used to. It's still long, but it's not as bad as before and everything like that. And because since I've been having a lot of more, like fun playing as a killer and everything like that now, so I was like really hooked to it. And then they messed up the game again, you know. But they did fix it. They did patch, did send out a patch yesterday and everything to fix it. With some new update they had but um but at the time you know because of that when he, when that update came out a few days ago and it messed up the game it was like unplayable everything was just buggy and all this other shit i was like you know what let me look at some of my games i can like you know single play games i can play in the meantime and everything and you know maybe it's for a reason i can finally you know play some other games and stop you know playing multi multiplayer games which i've been doing lately which i want need to cut down on and everything go back to my single player games my ways and stuff like that so i saw I had downloaded it when um when they when they when they had it on PlayStation Plus I downloaded it and everything because I, I usually just add the games to the library I don't even like download them and play them honestly but this one I like oh it looks interesting and everything I'm gonna give it a chance so that's why I downloaded it and everything so I saw it there you know in the, when when I was looking through some of my games in the on the dashboard and I was like you know what let me play this game and see what it's all about you know because I have played Five Nights at Freddy's before like before like um like the early days of them and everything when they first came out and i played it but i didn't really like it because i'm like i don't like games like that where you know horror games where it's not free room where you can't move around you just you're pretty much just sitting in that security room whatever and watching the cameras you know for the animatronics and stuff not to get you whatever you got to make sure you close the right doors at certain times so that way you reserve energy i didn't like that like you know so uh, that's why i was like damn i didn't really like the series they came out with another one um, called Five Nights at Freddy's Help, Help Wanted. Uh, I, I forgot which year that one came out. But I remember I got it back in 2021 for the, from GameStop. And I played it and I was like, uh, it's still not from Free Roam. So I don't really like this one as much. I think it was a little bit of Free Roam. I don't remember exactly how it was, but I just know that I didn't really give it much of a chance. I just played a little bit of it and then I just stopped playing and I had ended up selling it on eBay. So I was like, you know what? This series is not for me. You know, but then when they had when they when they came out with this one, when I got this one for free, you know, with PlayStation Plus, and I was looking at it, and I was like, okay, it looks kind of interesting. It looks like you can move around. This one is free roam, so you know, I gave it a chance and everything like that. And man, such a good game! Like, <laughs> I beat the game and everything, guys. Like, and well, hard games are usually short anyway, so I, I beat it in a couple of days. This is like in a couple of days, like almost a week, I would say. No, yeah, no, like less than less than a week, like oh, yeah, like almost a full week. And everything and i was like wow this is a really good game i got all the endings thanks to ig and walkthrough i use to get caught even though it was all the endings like damn so there's two two stories this is the main story and then this dlc that they came out with it was actually recent that it came out with last year called the ruin so yeah i mean ruin this is called ruin five nights at freddy's ruin or whatever and um and then the main story you know for the game this is a security breach and everything so there's two different stories the main story has five endings i think and then the Ruin has three endings. I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I got all the endings in that one yesterday in Ruin. Because <laughs> the, the, the DLC was actually short. It wasn't as long as the story, of course. You know, it was it was much shorter. And uh, But I liked it. It was really good. Definitely, definitely was a lot more scarier than the main story, in my opinion, everything. Like, I see that they added, it made it more like, more of that horror factor in the main, like the atmosphere, I should say, in the DLC. But the main story as well is still good. I still prefer the main story, of course. Uh, mainly because it's longer and you could do more stuff and everything but um i got all the endings and everything thanks to ign a lot of them some of them uh, need the requirement like certain requirements to complete and some of them i already had or almost had like completed or whatever like certain items you have to get or whatever like that so like, okay good so i can get all these endings so yeah the only thing i didn't like about with ruin though is the doc is that i didn't get no damn trophy there was no trophy for the three endings i got i don't know if there's any trophies at all for that that um <laughs> for that doc but um but the, this the game is is really good like um i was like really shocked you know and now honestly i be i became a fan of the series but i'm already a fan of this one in the series so i'm 
I'm not, I don't want to spoil it, but it seems like from the DLC, when I beat it yesterday, they def it looks like they're either going to have a part two of that DLC, or they're going to have a game separate that's going to, um, what's it, like that, that, that girl is going to be the main character that was from the DLC, I think. That's what it looks like they, they, they're setting up for, because it kind of left on a cliffhanger, pretty much, and everything. So I was like, okay. But I really hope they make a part two. But I, I would like to see a part two with the guy, though. Um, the little boy, Gregory. And um, what's his name? Freddy. Because I, when, I was so, when I was playing, I was like, oh, wait. Freddy's a good guy. I thought, thought he was bad, from what I remember. <laughs> thought he was one of the bad guys, the killer or whatever like that. The bad anim animatronics, whatever. But in this one, he was good. You know? But um, there are times, actually, where it, he is kind of bad in a way. But like I said, I don't really want to like, explore too much of it for you guys. And also with like some of the, the gameplay I'm gonna show you at the end, but you guys can always skip that. So I'll let you guys know from now I'm gonna have some gameplay at the end after this. You know, if you guys don't wanna if you guys don't like spoilers, then don't watch it. <laughs> you know, because I know I don't like spoilers and everything like that. So I don't really wanna spoil it for you guys, so I'm just gonna like just kinda like summarize some of the things with the game. But um but like I said, the main story is really good. Like I love the main story. The DLC is really good too, like I said, but the main story I prefer more. I like the story of Gregory and um the, and Freddy. And then the DLC, the girl's name, I think, was Cassie. And they, um, there's a little, like, part where they show, like, she had a rela she has a relationship with, um, Roxy, the other animatronic and everything. So I want to know what they're going to do with that. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, that there might be a second part of DLC with them two, you know, with her and, and Roxy. I don't know. But, um, but, um, from the end, from the end, the main, the main ending I got, yeah, because it's, like I said, there's three endings in it. The first thing I get, I, the first ending I got was actually the canon ending, <laughs> and the other two after that is like this little hidden endings you can get, which is cool. But yeah, but um, I like I like the story. Like I said, well, the story is okay. I would say it wasn't like the best, but I like more of the gameplay, and I really love Freddy's on um, Pizzaplex, like the Mega Play, whatever they call it, the Pizzaplex. Man, they did really good, <laughs> really really good with that whole like that whole like exterior, the interior, the map, and everything, like the whole like like um pizza plex like like a gaming place like a little arcade place and stuff they have in there you have like a a playroom like the daycare where they have like that the the i forgot what they call it like you playing like all the balls or whatever like they used to have like mcdonald's i forgot what they call it, like the playpen or whatever like that they have an area like that um they have like so many different areas like damn it's like a, I, like, I wish this was real so be a cool place to visit you know because I like going to Dave and Buster's all with my with my friend, but this place is <laughs> looks way better than Dave and Buster's. Like, I wish it was real. I'll definitely go there. But they did a really good job with that, you know, with what they created in that game. And like, um, I, I I was reading the reviews on a lot of people were saying that they didn't. It was like mixed reviews. Some people didn't really like it. Some people joked about it and saying that they can see that everything went into this making the game look beautiful, and that was it. <laughs> I kind of agree, like, yeah, they really did go in with that place, like, the pizza place, because it looks great, like, oh my god, like, I was out here astonished looking around everything, looking at everything, like, oh, look at it, they got some arcade machines over here, they got this different section of, of the pizza place that looks really cool on this side, they had, like, all these different, like, places, I'm like, damn, they really went in with this, it was, it was really good, like, I give them credit for that, like, <laughs> they made the game really look nice, and they really made that place look really, you know, like, He's like, like I said, you like astonished just looking around like shit. Like, I wish I was here right now. Like, in real life, you know, I wish something like that existed because that would be a cool place to go and like play and have fun and everything like that, you know? So it kind of reminds me of like, like Chuck E. Cheese in a way. I have a, like, I get a little bit of like, you know, vibes with that there, but this is way better. Like, this is a huge place, you know, where, you know, like tons of like different areas to go. I like that. It's like a big ass place, like, you know? There were so many places to go, like, a lot of time I got lost, you know? But yeah, because of the map, which I'm about to, I'll, I'll get into later, like, that's because that's one of the negatives. Um, but it's just really nice. Like, they went in with the place, guys. Like, it is a beautiful, beautiful place. Like, <laughs> you see that, you, you would want to be there, you know? Minus with animatronics, you know, trying to kill you, whatever, like that. But, um, yeah, so the story is really good. Like, to me, I, I say it's still good, like... Uh, I, I would say decent, but I, I still good. Like you know, like I liked it. Um, the only, one of the negative. Well, I don't really want to get to negatives yet. Um, but but I like is this. It was just really interesting. Like you know, like I feel like they could have done a lot more with like the ending and stuff. Like I said, I want to spoil it. But um, but for the most part, I like the story. But I just liked more of 
the the pizza plex and also the scare factor you know like oh my god a lot of times i actually jumped and everything like that it was just really really creepy and everything <laughs> so some of the some of the characters animatronics i do know and some of them are new new to the game and everything like that one of my favorites though is that guy um the sun i think it's called the sun guy or something like that some i don't know his full name but i know he has a face of a sun and um, he's in a daycare area with the playpen I was talking about, like we, the giant thing with the balls and stuff you play it or whatever like that. And um, that I liked him because I like I like who did his voice. Like uh, the guy who did his voice did a, did a good job. I like his voice. And um, but when when you when the lights go off and he changes to the moon guy, oh my god, he got so creepy. Like I'm actually gonna add that scene in and everything for you guys to see. But yeah, so I was like, oh man, <laughs> I was so scared of that part. Oh like oh my lord, like. But but go like that that level was actually like one of my favorite levels because it reminded me a lot of you know my childhood days at McDonald's and stuff like that you know playing in that pen and stuff like that, um the playhouse pretty much like I think as you could call it the playhouse, you know playing in the big pool of balls and stuff like that and it had like the little tunnels you can crawl in and stuff that's exactly what they had in that 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 part of the game and I was like oh this is really good you know like it was creepy though especially when the lights went off and the moon and he transformed to the moon guy. And uh, I thought it was cool. His voice was good too. I, I don't know if it's the same guy who did the Moon's voice as well, but um, I like I like their voices. You know, they did a good job and everything. The Moon's the Moon's voice like really creepy and everything like that. Like it was it was so good, guys. Like that was one of my favorite scenes. Um, oh, well, the favorite levels and everything in the game. And also the scene was cool too. Like how he changed. They did a good job. A lot of the scenes and everything, like creepy stuff that happened in the game, I'm like, wow, they did really good with this stuff, you know? <laughs> it like almost feel like if you watch a movie in a way with some of these scenes, like how it's like kind of creepy, like how they do it, you know? And um, they did a good job. Like they did a really good job with it. I don't know what the review, like why a lot of people don't like the game because I'm so, I'm shocked. I thought a lot of people liked the game, you know? There's a lot of people on read that said they liked it, but there's a lot of reviews I've read that people, they got mixed reviews and a lot of people didn't really like the game. I know one of the reasons is, which I'm, I'm, I'll get into that now. You know, the negatives is um, it's really buggy. Game is really buggy. <laughs> There's a lot of times I got stuck on shit, or like when one of the animatronics is chasing me, like Chica or whatever. Roxy's chasing me, and I'm like stuck on something. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm trying to move this shit up. Yeah, I got stuck on it, and then they they um kill me and shit like that. I'm like, come on, like, like uh, I didn't like that at all, man. I was like so pissed, like. Are you serious? I would get stuck on things. Like, what am I stuck on? Like, <laughs> so that happened. I did get the blue screen once. Um, the many of times the game froze, but then after that was good again. And a lot of loading scenes, which is freaking annoying. Like when you go into certain parts of the pizza plex, like a different area, or whatever, like that. Like for example, if you go into like one like shutter that go, like there's like shutters for like each like different like sections of the pizza plex and stuff. Like the main section because like like i said there's so many areas of the damn building you know there's a main piece of plex with the arcade rooms and stuff and um and there's like um on the first floor there's like a party area something like that where they have like these tables set out and with like party hats on it and then i have like a stage where like i guess it's where the animatronics like perform and stuff so they have that and then upstairs they have you know like it's kind of hard to explain but i'm just trying to like go by what i remembered visually and stuff like that but um, it's it's big. It's just it's a huge ass place. And you know when you go through the shutters to each like different sections, like they have the the Roxy's on um, race raceway and stuff like that. That part that area was just nice too. They had um, Monty's on um, Gator Golf Course or whatever, and the other side. So it's a huge map. Like there's like places left and right to go to, and everything like that. So it's like so much shit to do. But you know, but when you go through the those shutters and stuff to go to like different sections it keeps loading and sometimes the loading takes a long ass time you know which one's the reverse ones when you're in the elevator you go into like the basement second floor whatever like that that shit takes forever I'm like oh my god this is loading and loading and loading and then finally you can you can continue playing I'm like damn like what the <laughs> like lord like it's so much like loading like going on in the games like it's just crazy with the bugs <laughs> that's the only only negative i really have with that especially like i said with the loading times and shit mainly when you go in the elevator but um other than that like i said i like the game a lot you know so i understand what they're saying about with that like i really wish it would have been able to smooth out a lot of the bugs and everything like that and um the negative the other the second negative like i, like I was gonna mention earlier is about the map 
Like, I feel like they could have done a better job with the map and where you're located and stuff like that. Because I'm like, damn, like, they're telling me to go to this area, but like, damn, I don't remember where that area is because it's a big ass place. So I'm trying to try to retrace my steps or try to like remember. Like, I'm just like thinking mad hard, like, damn, what was that place again I was at? Because that's where I have to go back to now. I'm like, damn, where is that again? Because you can't make nothing of the map. Like, it just, the map was terrible, honestly. They did a bad job with that. I don't know what's up with these horror games with maps. It's like, for some reason, they just can't get it right. <laughs> they just can't get it right, like how Resident Evil can, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I played so many, so many horror games, even ones on this channel, you know, as evidence, <laughs> you know, to prove that a lot of these games just do shitty jobs on maps for some reason. It's like, I don't know what's so hard about, like, how how can you not make a good map? Like, <laughs> like what's so hard about it? But a lot of them, you know, I just, and some don't even have maps, you know? So it's like... They probably like this school, like, yeah, we could do shitty job anyways, my does not have it, you know? But a lot of the, I don't know, what's up with horror games and maps? Like, they, I don't know, these indie horror games is always like that. I mean, I would even say Final Fantasy Freddy's is still indie, honestly, because they're a big series now, franchise and everything, movies they made, they have toys now and all the other shit, <laughs> so, yeah, they're a big, big thing now. But on the map, I, you know, I wish it would have done a better job with it, because, like I said, I, I didn't know where I, where I was going half the time. It's like, damn, like, where is this place? I actually had to look up um, on a walkthrough a few times on IGN. They're like, damn, where is this place again? Because I don't remember. And then, like, I can't make shit out of this map, you know? So they even have a directory, which is cool, you know, when you get off the elevator, when you get into the pizza plex, there's a directory right in front of you that shows, like, all the areas and shit. But still, I can't make nothing of that, <laughs> you know? So because there's no names, like... Tell me which which is on this side and what's on that side. You know, you just have to like walk around and find it yourself. So I didn't like that at all. Like the map is just terrible, really bad. You know, the game is buggy. But if you can look past that, it's still a good game. I know if a lot of people was not gonna like that, especially the waiting, like the loading times and stuff and shit. I know a lot of people was not gonna have the patience for that. I'm used to it because you know, I've been playing games like this long. You know, since I was younger, retro games that had long loading times. So it's not a big deal for me, but. A lot of these this new generation and everything, a lot of people, especially the ones that have no patience, whatever like that, they're the ones who are going to complain the most. But it wasn't that big of an issue to me. You know, for you guys, yes, with the loading. Definitely, definitely, definitely. It would be a big issue. But yeah, but if you guys like me, don't have, there's not a big deal. You guys use these type of games from the retro days, you know, retro gaming and stuff like that, then you're not going to have a big problem with that. But, um, and what else? And also, another thing that I'll say, like, I feel like, Without spoiling it, I feel like with the ending, they could have explained a little bit more. Like, um, I think, yeah, I think it could have been explained a little bit more with some way, you know, with Gregory and Freddy and stuff like that. They didn't really, they didn't really explain all that stuff. Like, I still want to know, like, what was the whole story of him, like, getting there? And, like, what's this type of friendship he made with um, Freddy and stuff like that? You know, like, this, this bond they have now and everything like that. I wish some of that would have been corrected. Because out of all all the endings, I mean, all the endings, not out of all, but all the endings I've gotten in that story, I, it doesn't really explain nothing. There were cool endings, though, but it didn't really explain nothing. A lot of people didn't really like the endings, though, but I like how they did it. I like how they did the endings, like like a comic book type of thing. That was cool. But yeah, and um, and what else? So I wouldn't really say that's a negative, honestly. I would say the two biggest negatives that I had was um the lagging the the, the buggy game <laughs> this is a game is a buggy mess and also um the the map but like i said it's still not that big of a deal i still like the game i still enjoyed it and um and for me i'm not gonna complain because it was free <laughs> you know it was free with my um playstation plus um and what else yeah, i'm trying to remember this top of my head what else i uh what else i want to talk about this game uh well i think that's actually it like yeah, for the, what I want to show you guys at the end, for you guys that want to watch it or whatever, you guys will pretty much see the rest of it. You know, for you guys that don't know, this is usually how I like to do my reviews and stuff like that. I usually just talk about my um, my thoughts on it, like what I remember from what I played in the game. Obviously, I remember everything because I just played it, you know, yesterday and everything. Um, well, not everything, I should say, because sometimes these shit like that I still forget, <laughs> even though I just played it. You know, but um, just like the main stuff, like I said, I didn't really want to spoil it for you guys, like really spoil much, spoil anything, I mean. um, But yeah, <laughs> like you guys will pretty much see it. But this is how I this is how I, I like to do my reviews and stuff like that. I like to do it different than other people out there where, you know, they're showing the game and talking 
you know, they're talking over the video and stuff like that. I don't like that. Um, I prefer to talk about it this way because at least you guys know that I actually played the game and I beat the game. You know, I'm not just using footage. I usually, I'm not going to knock all of them for it, but it's usually footage they use it from other people, like other people's gameplay, and it's talking over it and stuff like that with a script. <laughs> but um, I, I don't do that. So that's also why I'm not really remembering exactly everything because I'm not reading from any paper or anything script. But um, but you guys know, at least you guys know I played the game. I played the game, I beat it, I enjoyed the game <laughs> and everything like that. So it's like I said, it's a really good game. It's a really good game. Like I said, minus those issues, but I think you guys should definitely give it a chance. I kind of want to get it physically now because I see that it's also um, physical on the PS4 and have that in my collection. But I, I would love, I would really love for them to have a part two. But like I said, for what it seemed like with the ending, it might be a part two to the DLC ruin <laughs> and not Security Bridge. I don't know. I hope it's not because I honestly want to see more of, um, I want to know more about Freddy and Gregory over Cassie and Roxy. Even though I want to know about them too, but I prefer over Gregory and, Fred and um, Freddy at first, you know? But um, it's a good game. So I liked it. I liked it. Like the, the, the horror elements in the game, really creepy. And everything like that. Like I said, I don't want to talk too much about certain things because I don't want to spoil, spoil it for you guys. But like I said, there's a lot of lot of crazy stuff going in that game. A lot of scenes I liked in the main story and also in the DLC. I was really, really well done and everything like that. And um, yeah, it's just like a really nice, creepy atmosphere. You know, because it's nice at the same time because like I said, a huge like gaming place, Plex and everything like that. It just it looks really good. Like I see, like that's like what they joked about. Like I can definitely see that's where they put all their work into and everything. And I say it paid off because it looked good. It was a really good game. So, and there's a lot of trophies I miss. I want to go back and get them. I have like 65% of trophies and everything. So I'm almost done. I'm missing a few more so I can get the platinum. And um, sadly, there is no trophies for the DLC, which I don't like. I really hate when a lot of these DLCs don't have trophies. A lot of people do it. One good thing I should say real quick. Actually, another positive I should say with the DLC is it has 100% free. I was shocked when I seen that. I was like, what is free? Like there's another company out there that's not, you know, Hello Games, <laughs> No Man's Sky, that's giving out free shit. You know, like, wow. I mean, that's giving out free stuff without money. Like, wow. You know, I was shocked when I seen that and everything. And then I was like, damn, this is now one of my, I guess you could pretty much say it's one of my favorite companies too, you know, when it comes to indie games and stuff. Like I said, I don't know if they're really indie indie, but you know, but that's good. You know, you definitely have respect for me, you know, <laughs> from me, you know, with that. So I really love companies because I know this with the AAA devs now, the ones that's money hungry and everything has to be about money now with them. Everything has to be packed with DLC. That's obviously not free. 2K need to take lessons <laughs> from these guys from um, Steel, Steel Wall Studios is called. Yeah, for the ones that did this game, Security Breach. And um, Hello Games is No Man's Sky. So 2K needs to take, 2K needs definitely to take notes from those two. <laughs> Ubisoft, same shit. You need to do the same. And all the other companies and everything. Even Square Enix. <laughs> but yeah, so I was shocked when I saw that it was free. I was like, oh, this is nice. Like, hey, I love you guys for this. <laughs> like I said, I like I like what they did with the game. I know a lot of people didn't really like it. It was a lot of mixed reviews, some negatives. But I, like I said, I thought it was a really good game. I thought it was well done and I enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I think you guys should definitely check, check this one out, you know? If you guys love horror games, if you guys are big fans of the series of Five Nights at Freddy's, um, if you guys um, what's it don't mind like a little like a little bug here and there, or a little long loading scene here and there, still pick this up. You'll definitely enjoy it. I recommend it. I recommend it. I know a lot of people didn't recommend it. A lot of people gave it mixed reviews. There's even people out there that prefer the older games over this one, like where you just sit in in that one room. I don't like that honestly. I like the free roam better. And everything i i don't i think this is what they should have done you know from the get-go so um i'm happy that they i'm guessing this is what they're gonna be doing forward going forward and everything like that so i'm definitely looking forward i'm really to another one i really hope they're gonna do a part two for this security breach not the doc yet but if they do that's fine too <laughs> you know as long as it's one of those one of the two and it's free roaming I'll do it. But like I said, I do want to check out um, Help Wanted again and see if I can get... I'm going to give it another chance to see if I'll like it now that I got more introduced to the characters and everything in the series. Maybe if I give it another chance, I might like it a little bit more. You know, but the originals, I don't, don't see myself going back to those. Even though they have those as well on the PS4, I saw. Call it, they call it the Core Collection or something like that when it comes with the first four. 
Yeah, yeah, one, two, three, and I think the fourth one was called Sister Location or something. I do remember that one from back then. But yeah, I never played it. I just know know of it. But yeah, well, the first one I have played, I think. Or maybe it was the fourth one I played. I don't remember. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so like I said, I like the game. I definitely recommend it for you guys. You know, if you guys are a big fans of series and um, you know, you want to do you know, play something a little bit different in the series with free roaming, I think you guys should definitely check it out. And um, if you guys love horror games, if you guys love like um the visual look of a game too like a horror game this is definitely something you would like because like i said when you get oh my god <laughs> when you even before you get like when you take the elevator to go into like the main hub like you know like where all the games are at anything like that it's still beautiful even before you get to that part like when you had the entrance getting into the um the building and everything and the daycare center like i said was really cool too with the um playhouse and everything so yeah like I said, it was a really good game. I really like the sun guy and the moon guy <laughs> where you transformed. I thought that was really well done. I like that a lot. And I'm a big fan of Freddy now. <laughs> I like him. I thought he was cool and everything. I felt kind of sad for him at some points. Some of the animatronics, I did feel kind of sorry for, honestly, with some of the scenes, especially in, in, in Ruin and everything like that. But like I said, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> so, yeah, so let me know what you guys thought of it. If you, any of you guys have uh, played, I should say, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If any of you guys have played the the earlier ones, what do you guys think of? Do you guys think I should give another chance or what? But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna have much more much fun with it. But help wanted, I kind of want to try again. But the earlier games, I don't know if I will. But let me know what you think I should do in the comments. Like maybe I'll give another chance. I don't know yet with those with the first the first four. But yeah, but um, yeah. So let me know if you guys have played it. What you guys thought of it? Like I said, I definitely recommend it. I thought it, I thought it was a good game. I thought it was a good game, and I believe you guys will like it as well and everything so yeah so hope you guys enjoy if any of you guys don't want to watch my gameplay footage at the end <laughs> you know you can watch it if you guys don't want to spoil it or whatever that's fine too you know but yeah so just let me know guys and um i hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you guys next time for another episode take care
I can still hear you! I just need... 